I just wanted to take a moment to express how devastated I am by the end of Daylight Savings. Everyone who is childless thinks that Daylight Saving is a time of year where you lose an hour of sleep. But it's okay because with Daylight Savings ends, you get it back, and then life proceeds as normal. If you have a child who is young or a baby, people who have not yet been able to override their circadian rhythm with our modern world's demands, you lose an hour of sleep forever. Forever, because guess what? The baby is not sleeping until five, six, seven. They're getting up at four, five, six. My friend, with a 13 month old, says she's been up between four and 4.30 every day for a week now. And here's the thing, you won't get that, that hour back. It's not at a fungible time of day. You get up at six instead of seven, per se. You can't get anything done. Most things aren't open. You can't do stuff you wouldn't do with your kid. The only reason you're up is because your kid is there. So you have your kid an extra hour before work or school or whatever. Maybe it's just before the library opens. You can go somewhere and get out of the house. You got your kid for an extra hour. And you're both sleep deprived. Because neither of you got to bed an hour earlier. Because everything else, work, school, the laundromat, Wherever you buy your food, the flip in the post office, their hours stay the same. They're not starting an hour earlier. If they did, that would cancel out the whole ending of daylight saving. So anyway, you don't get that hour back at night. It's not at a fungible time of day. Even if you live near a 24-hour grocery store, you got to get yourself ready, your family ready, to the store, get all the shopping done, get it home. Unload it all in one hour. One. Because you still have to do all the normal stuff you would do before going to start your day. You know, I don't wake up mad earlier than Linus's the school starts. I get up 70 minutes before his school starts. I get him up. He's usually up before that. But I'm saying before daylight saving. I'll get up 70 minutes before Linus's the school started. Before daylight saving ended. And he would get up. I'd wake him up if there was like 45 minutes left. Sometimes he would wake me up when there was like, you know, an hour and a half till school started. So that extra hour, it's not actually enough time to, to do anything. It is a non-fungible hour. It is gone. You have lost it. Not just one night, like when we do daylight saving, but until daylight saving. When daylight saving ends, life becomes brutal. Because you know how hard it is to regulate your emotions when you're tired, right? You want to eat more. You want to eat less, maybe. You're just cranky. Everything bothers you. Everything. You can't even keep your eyes open to focus on anything anyone's saying or doing. Like, I just want to cry all day. Like, I just cry over nothing. I just be like, Linus is defying me and it's really just a week since daylight saving ends it's like i'm like seven hours behind now that's like a whole day it literally feels like i have like a newborn child i can't imagine my friend with the the 4 30 wake up god bless her out of control so anyway so just a little public service announcement to say i think we should pick a time of day we got all the lights and that whatnot, the electricity. Just stick with it, you know? Just all year. Because I don't even think most monks get up at 4.30 in the morning. They got to pray, like, all day long. And, like, make a bunch of bread or beer or whatever they're selling. No. This has got to end. I can't even keep my eyes open. So, anyway. Tonight, Linus is asleep. It is 7.41 on a Saturday night, and I literally have to go to sleep now.
because daylight saving ended a week ago and John lives here. It's been he's been here the whole time. Brutal. Devastating. Brutally devastating. Alright. 